Good evening. Good evening. Hello, hello. Hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you today? How do you feel? I am tired, teacher. A little tired? Really? Yes. Okay. A little tired. Okay, uh, let me first to check out the attendance in order to start. And we are going to make a review about the previous topic that we have studied. And later on, we are going to start with a new one. I hope that all of you feel really well today. Let me read the chat. Buenas noches, soy informado que... Estoy con datos, pido permiso para mantener la palabra de la cámara. Ok. Ok. No problem. Let me move a little bit my, my camera. I'm here, ready. Welcome to all of you. Okay, Don Jose Aleman, how do you feel today? Present teacher. Hello, sir. How do you feel? <clears throat> okay, let me see how many people do we have. Gabriela, say hello, Gabriela, Cecilia, Don Jose Beltran is there, Francisco is there too, Catherine, <laughs> Candy, Janet, Edwin, Jonathan, Roxana, Paola. We're well, honestly waiting for the rest of the class, you know.
Let me check out the opinion first. Okay, I got here. America Elizabeth, are you there? No, yet. Bueno, cuando vayan entrando, me van avisando. Ana Iris. Ana Iris. So here. Blanca Esperanza. Present. Okay, welcome, Blanca. Thank you. Eh, Cecilia Maribel. Good evening, teacher. Present. Okay, welcome to Edwin Alexis. Edwin Alexis. Not here. Edwin Alfredo. Edwin Alfredo. Not here. Francisco Pereira. Present. Welcome, sir. Gabriela Yamilet. Presente, teacher. Okay, welcome. Giselle Guadalupe. I am here. Thank you. Uh, Ingrid Geraldina. Ingrid. Okay. Ivania Ivania Not here. Jonathan. Present teacher. Sir, too. Welcome. Jose Ernesto. Present teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome, sir. Jose Luis Beltran. Present. Okay. Uh, Karina Vanessa. Hello, Karina, I'm already there. Katherine Maricela. Present. Okay, welcome. Katherine Paola. Good evening. Present. Okay, welcome. Candy. Good evening, teacher. Present. Okay. Alguien más que? Mauricio Antonio. Alguien más me copió el que era. Mauricio. Here. Roxana Álvarez. Present, teacher. Okay, welcome. Roxana Elizabeth. Present teacher. Sara. Present. Sir, two. Um, Janet Del Carmen. 
Good evening, teacher. Present. Okay, good evening. Welcome. Yesenia Lisa. It's not here, Yesenia. And Jessica Beatriz Ramirez Maravici. Okay, let me get rid of the shot. Bueno, tengo dos mensajes. Okay, don José Beltrán, take it easy, don't worry. Edwin Alexis. I got your message too, don't worry. Okay, here we go, we are going to start. Uh, let me see what we have. Okay, this is uh, class number three. We had a day for today, June 28th. This is the name of the unit. We already studied all the objective that we need to take into account. And we are going to uh, make a review about adverb of frequency. You are going to take two, say a sentence, use the frequency adverb, and try to do your best. Okay, let me show you something now. In order that all of you can participate. Okay, here we go. What we are going to do is that I'm going to choose one of your names. If you hear your name, that means that you are going to say hello. And you are going to create a sentence using uh, one of the frequency adverbs that I got in this wheel. Do you got an interaction or do you have any questions apart from here? Tell me. ¿Comprendemos las instrucciones o tienen preguntas? Eh, ¿Vamos a hacer oraciones con las palabras? Con la que les aparezca si oye su nombre, ¿cierto? Ok, teacher. Ok, here we go. Let me choose somebody from the list. Voy a elegir a alguien de la lista. Um, let me see. That person is you, Roxana Landa Verde. Are you there? Roxana, are you there, Roxana? Yes, teacher. Okay, here we go. Almost never. Okay. Create a sentence using this adverb. Create una oración usando este adverb.
Ok, busquemos a alguien más. Que... No sé, teacher. Ok, don't worry about. Uh, let me choose somebody else. Who, uh, ok, let me see here. I'm going to look for somebody else. Let's give you a hand. What about Gabriela? Um, el significado de esa de esa frase. Almost never, casi nunca. El almost, almost. Almost never, casi nunca. Casi nunca. Mm, I almost never go to the beach. Okay. Okay, thank you. Uh, what about you, Jose Aleman? Do, do you have another example? I was never go out at night. Okay. Okay, thank you. I'm going to look for somebody else here. Let me see. That person is going to be you, Janet. Janet Campos. Let me eliminate this. Okay, and I'm going to spin it. Okay. Here we go. Wow, congratulations. You win it, your girl. Uh, me lo manda, teacher. Okay, I'm going to send you. <laughs> okay, I'm going to look for somebody else. What about you, Sara? Are you there, Sara? Sara. Say hello, Sara. No está. Se nos jugó. Eh, let me see somebody else. Candy, what about you, Candy? Are you there? Hello, Candy. Okay. okay, go ahead, Paola. I'm going to give you the chance to do it. Paola, Paola. Hi, teacher. Okay, hold on. Okay, Holly. Holly. Okay, let me let me spin. Okay. Okay, sometimes. Sometimes. Okay, sería un ejemplo. René is sometimes uh, dancing dance in the night okay i'm going to give you the chance to to to, to reorder Sí, es que teacher, no me recuerdo si acá por el ayer explicaba que el is el are iban antes del, del en este caso sometimes oh, solamente yeah. verdad entonces yeah. si dijo René sería como he verdad por eso el yeah. verbo tiene que ir con el con el es con la s verdad uh -huh. hey, ok ok repeat again repeat again please sería René y sometimes uh, dance dance in the night okay. el verbo but there uh, if you are using is it look like uh, you are talking about something that is progressive okay Renee is sometimes dancing at night it's going to be better in that way Dancing, con el ING. Yeah, dancing. Okay, teacher. At night. Thank you. At night, porque yeah. es de tiempo, ¿verdad? Yeah. Sería. Okay, thank you. thank you. I'm going to look for somebody out here. Um, let me see who's going to be. What about you, Catherine Paola? Okay, it's you. Let me look for somebody else. 
Oh, don Jose Luis is not ready right now. Don Jose Ernesto. Ah, he's there. Hello, teacher. Okay, here we go, sir. It's your turn. Wow, another use. I need to send another use. You are a winner, sir. Bueno, salvado por el jugo, don José. Jonathan, are, uh, you, are you there, Jonathan? Is your name ever? Yes, teacher. Okay, Jonathan. Here we go, Jonathan. Okay. Okay, usually. Usually. Um, I usually am going to shore. Okay. It's correct. I usually go to shore, okay. Okay. Okay, Don Edwin, here we go. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, sir. Um, Harley, uh, Harley, Harley ever, Harley ever. Harley, I don't remember what's the mean teacher. You don't remember what is the meaning? Hardly. Hardly ever. Mm. Ah, okay. Um, I hardly ever visit um, a disco. Okay, thank you. Okay, let me, look, let, let me look for somebody else here. What about you, Ingrid Calderon? Are you there, Ingrid Calderon? Ingrid. No. Gabriela? Tell me, teacher. Okay, I'm going to give you the, the chance to do it. Okay, I'm going to spin. Easy. Never. Never. Mm. I never drink soda in the morning. Okay, thank you. Okay, volunteers, any volunteers who wants to do it? Voluntarios. Tengo a quien Giselle, okay, Giselle, let me spin. Always, why is it? Okay, I always, sorry, I always brush my teeth in the morning. Okay, nice, good. Good job, good job. Okay, another volunteer. Okay, Don Jonathan, veamos Don Jonathan, si tiene suerte. Here we go. My goodness. Congratulations. I owe a chocolate. Thank you. Bueno, le debo un chocolate ahí. Thank you, teacher. <laughs> and the last one, who wants to create a sentence using Often. 
Vamos, alguien que quiera crear una oración usando often. Me, teacher. Okay, you can do it, sir. Okay, it's an example. Okay. I often feel a pain in my stomach. I often feel a pain in my. Okay, nice. Is okay. okay. Thank you. You can use it at the moment that you go to your, see your doctor and explain uh, how do you feel all the symptoms that you feel. That's nice. Okay. Okay, thank you. That was the review for today about the previous topic. Let me see how many people. Well, I don't know why. Well, I'm going to say this in Spanish. No sé por qué. Tengo tan poca gente. Tengo 16. Y en la lista tengo 25. Todavía tengo gente que no se ha conectado una vez. Voy por la tercera. Si ustedes conocen a alguno de ellos, Pueden informar yo para ver qué sucede. Posiblemente sean compañeros de trabajo. Recordemos que la asistencia es muy importante. Y al momento de inscribirse, pues creo que se les explica exactamente cómo funciona el sistema. Pero sí, cuando veo eh, las marcas en, de la gente que no está presente, eh, well, I, I, I don't like to say that. But. Okay, today we are going to talk about something that maybe you already know, but we are going to reinforce the topic. And uh, we are going to talk about cannibal and uncannibal meals. I don't know what you do, do you remember about that. What comes to your mind at the moment that I said that? A la hora que menciono eso, no sé qué se le viene a usted a su mente. Contable y no contable, teacher. Yes, yes. Okay. Okay. Tell me. Uh, Serial, how much and how many, teacher? Yes, but in order to see, to study uh, this topic, we need to talk about cannibals and uncannibal nouns and also quantifiers. Here has says in that one. Okay, what else can you tell me about? Ah, I'm talking about something. I, I would like to know if all of you how to load it, the material. Me gustaría saber si a todos tienen descargado el material que estamos usando. Por ahí se los compartí a través del grupo de WhatsApp. Entonces, me imagino que eh, all of you have it. But I don't know. I would like to be sure about that. All the topics that we developed are related with, uh, with the material. Okay, let me show you. Let me show you. Hold on a second, please. Okay, I'm going to show you here, not that you can see. Teacher, disculpa, yo no tengo el material, fíjese. Hola. Yo no tengo el material que usted dijo que había compartido. Está justamente en el grupo de WhatsApp. Teacher, no sé si lo puede volver a enviar el material, porque como yo me agregué de último, ¿verdad? Entonces, quizás cuando lo mandó, no estaba todavía en el grupo. Hasta ayer me metí al grupo, entonces no sé si lo puede mandar. Ok. Gracias. 
Gracias, thank you. Gracias. Yo igual hasta ayer me agregué al grupo de WhatsApp, teacher. Okay, don't worry about it. I'm going to send you. Okay, hold on a second. Let me try to get it here. I'm going to send. Okay, you got it there. Ahí se los he ubicado. ¿Ya lo vieron? ¿No? ¿Hola? Ya es, teacher, en el de WhatsApp ya salió. Ya estuvo. Yes, sir. Okay, let me show you here. Okay. This is the one. You got some exercises there that you can resolve in order to reinforce the topic. For example, today, um, We, they, yes, sir, we, we, we were talking about time expression for regular activities. And also we have every day, week, months, years, daily, weekly, monthly. And also how to use time expression. We got it there. Okay, today we are going to work in some phase in order that you can have a better idea about what we are talking about. Okay, this is the material that we are going to, to use for today. For today, you need to take a look on page, let me see. On page number 14, 16, and 17. 14, 16, and 17. Okay, 14 is this one. Sixteen is this one. We are going to talk about how many days a week do you work, how much time do you have to complete your class of work, and Number 17, interrupting, read the sentence and fill in blank with many of match, but we are going to do this later on. I'm going to have it here in order that you can see it. And let me show you something. Okay, let's check out the next page. Agregado al grupo de chat. Okay, para agregarse al grupo de WhatsApp, a ustedes se le envió una invitación. Debe de buscarla. Ahí le aparece. A todos se les ha enviado la información. En Mauricio is having a problem with the connection. I don't know what is happening there. Maybe how to do with the internet service that you have. Bueno, algunas veces depende de, 
de los datos, el servicio está últimamente ha estado mal. Ok, here we go. Let us then talk about countable and uncountable nouns. Okay, I'm going to show you some slices related with this countable and countable and uncountable nouns. Okay, when we talk about countable nouns, we are going to talk about things you can count in units. One apple, two apples, three apples. One cookie, two cookies, three cookies. One egg, two eggs, three eggs. One tomato, two tomatoes, three tomatoes. When we talk about can you know? But what about when we talk about, okay, hold on a second. As you can see here, the arrow is telling me singular and also plural. Okay, take a look with this. When we talk about cannibal nouns, we are talking about singular and plural. Do you guys see the message? Yes. Okay. And when we talk about uncountable nouns, we are talking about seeing you can count in unit. For example, butter, coffee, meat, sugar. We also got singular and plural. No. In this case, we can't have singular and plural, you know, because we, we don't say batters or coffees or meats or sugars. I need that you understand this, please. But maybe some of you are going to tell me, but uh, right here in El Salvador in Spanish, we say uh, some cafe, you know, but it's not, it doesn't not right to, to say it. Because this one, they, they don't, uh, they don't have to this. And also uh, when we talk about butter, coffee, milk, and sugar, we are talking about measuring unit and quantifiers. In order to talk about nouns, we are going to use quantifiers. Okay, let us uh, let us classify these names in two categories. The instruction say put the nouns in the right column. You are going to choose if. Uh, you are going to put it in cannibal or an uncannable nouns. We have egg, cheese, bear, pencil, butter, jacket, oil, soul, huge, school, meat, cat. Okay. You have three minutes in order to do this. As soon as you finish, let me know, please.
Finish teacher. Okay, thank you. What about the rest? Okay, take a look at this. If you did it this way, you uh, did a great job. Compare with the ones that you have there, please. In Carnival now, we have it, gear, jacket, coat, pencil, and a school. And what about in Carnival now? Cheese, butter, oil, salt, juice, and meat. Okay, any questions so far from here? Any question? No teacher. No teacher. No teacher. No teacher. No. Okay, let us talk about quantifier. Both countable kind of and uncountable nouns can be measured with a quantifier. Both of them. Quantifier express an amount that is not exact, but everybody understands it. And I, I got the quantifier here. So uh, I'm going to give you time in order that you can understand this, this concept. And later on, you can see also the quantifier. I got uh, and so on, any, much, many, a lot of, lots of, a little, a few, how much, and how many. Teacher, esos son para los que sí se pueden contar, ¿verdad? O para los que no se pueden contar. Ok, eso es lo que quiero que comprenda. Arriba dice vos, ambos. Vos, cannibal, and uncannable noun can be no. made with the quantifier. Ambos, los contables y los no contables pueden ser medidos con cuantificadores. Los cuantificadores expresan una cantidad que no es exacta, pero que todo el mundo la entiende o la comprende. Gracias, teacher. Ok. These were both when we are talking about two things. Cuando estamos hablando de dos cosas, usamos esta palabra, both, ambos. And I got the quantifier here. A, a, uh, a, uh, and so on, any, much, many, a lot of, lots of, a little, a few, how much, and how many. How many quantifiers do I have in my list? Tell me. Hola, hola. Hello, hello. Hi, teacher. Okay, try try to remember. Uh, I don't know. Maybe you take uh, a screenshot related with quantifier because you are going to use it later on. Try to keep in mind. Okay, how many quantifier do I have here in, in this list? How many quantos? How many quantifiers do I have in my list?
12, teacher? Yeah, I got 12. I got 12. I'm going to move to the next uh, slide in order that you tell me. Okay, tell me, how many do you remember? Try to tell me the ones that you remember. Some. Okay, go ahead. What else? Ah, uh, and. Okay, three. What else? A lot of. Okay, four. A few. Five. How many? How many? Six. Any? Seven. Most. Okay. What else? What else? Any? Okay. A few? A few. A leader. Ah, okay. This, that is a tricky. Me están haciendo trampa porque yo creo que quiero ver es cuántos se recuerdan cada uno. Every one of you, how many quantifiers do you remember? Just tell me. May I create your list in your mind and tell me. What about yourself? What about you, yourself? Tell me. Let us try, let us try to remember. How, how many do you remember? Okay, uh, I remember um, much a uh, leader and um, I feel. Does it? And no, and someone, any, a lot of, lot of, and I'm. Um, Ah, okay. And any. And any. And any. Okay, thank you. What about somebody else? Somebody else wants to. Let me see who wants to participate. Anybody? <laughs> <laughs> wake up, wake up, wake up. Maybe you are asleep now, of course. I don't get any answer related to my question. Okay, I'm going to give you a hand. And we are going to start with A and an. We use A and an to talk about singular cannibals now. Okay, who wants to give me an example related with this? Just one example, I don't, I don't want two, just one. Pretty easy, pretty easy, you know. And another scene is when I'm going to use a and when I'm going to use an. Will you explain me that? I know that you study in module one. Okay, tell me, tell me, tell me, please. Uh, apple. Which one do you use? A uh, on an. Ah. Uh. Okay, say it. Including the word apple. Uh, apple. Is that correct? But the letter no, is. Letter uh, vowel is vowel the 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 last is vowel. 
in this case is an. Okay, but we need to be careful about, how can I explain this? It's very easy. Um, you are going to use a before all the nouns that start with the consonant sound. Listen, I'm going to use a before. <laughs> Se nos metió la interferencia. A feedback, a feedback is there. A feedback, be careful with microphones. Okay, Gabriela is going to explain us exactly what we want. Okay, Gabriela, go ahead. Teacher, a uh, pencil. Sería el ejemplo de a, a pencil. Just, porque, uh, porque no estoy siguiendo una vocal después, sino que va a. Pencil, voy usando una consonante. A consonant sound. Yes. Ok. Pero lo que sí quiero, se lo voy a decir en español para que me comprendan. No se, no se casen con la idea de que eh, voy a usar an cuando la palabra tenga eh, una, una vocal. Debe ser sonido vocálico. Sonido vocálico. Okay, that is different, you know. For example, I said a nut, a lemon. Ah, okay. Take a look at this. An egg. An egg. I can say a egg. No, I'm going to say an egg. Um, teacher, I have a question. Okay, tell me. But I use the the um in the lemon lemon is correct or is incorrect? If you use um lemon um um lemon. No, you can use it because I, I told you before, you are going to use a ah before all the names that they start with a consonant sound. Consonant sound. But the, the sounds, the sounds, um, sonido, sonido de, de, también dijo por sonido, ¿verdad? Yeah? Yes, consonant sound. Consonant sound, okay. Ok, aquí no puedo usar an, porque an lo voy a usar delante de todos aquellos nombres que inicien con un sonido vocálico. Y limón o lemon comienza no con e, sino el, le, lemon. Entonces es un sonido consonántico. La que suena primero es la consonante. Lo mismo. ¿Sí? Sí, yes, I understand. Okay. Jot down all the ideas. I have a question. Okay, tell me. In this case, or oh, in case, pardon, uh, of World University? Ah. Sería oh. A. Ojo, ojo con eso. Ojo con eso, because uh, in that way, we don't say, uh, we say university. University. But listen. Listen. Um, university. Se oye. Oye es sonido consonántico o vocálico. Mm. Vocálico. Ok, university. El problema es que nosotros relacionamos el español y decimos, ah, entonces va a llevar an porque como comienza con un sonido de, de, la, de la Y, sí, pero a la hora de pronunciarlo, ¿cómo se oye? 
Un mm, sonido vocálico. University. Es como decir you. you. Ah, con, you. Con su, sería con su. <risa> Suena como cuando pronunciamos you, o sea, cuando yo hablo de tú, como yeah. si usáramos la, la Y, ¿verdad? Yeah, but, but, but the, the sound has to do with vocal sound or consonant sound? Consonant sound. Um, how, how can I tell you this? Uh, or try, try to pronounce the, the word university. 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 Maybe I'm going to look for some examples related with that. And, and later on, I'm going to share with you in order that you can, uh, you can have it there. Teacher, cuando decimos una respuesta, sería también an answer, ¿verdad? An answer, an answer. An answer. We used to call it the article or determiner also. Uh, we need to keep, be, be careful about this. And in this case, what we are talking about is quantifiers. Aquí estamos hablando de cuantificadores, pero también uh, we can talk about determines. Podemos hablar de determinantes, pero el tema no se presta ahorita para eso, pero sí, la función de ellos es así. Entonces, quedémonos como cuantificadores. Okay, later on, I'm going to give you a list uh, related with the difficult uh, words that you are going to look for better. Way to okay, hold on a second. Okay, maybe I'm going to share with you something that I have in order that you can get a uh, better concept related with this. Okay, let us talk about any. We use any to talk about plural, cannibal nouns, and uncannibal nouns, negative and interrogative form. Okay, take a look at this. We use any to talk about plurals, cannibal nouns and uncannibal nouns, negative and interrogative verb. And we have an example, there isn't any cheese. Or in a question, is there any cheese? Then I have another one. There aren't any bananas. Or in a question, are there any bananas? According to the picture, what can you tell me about? According to the picture, if I ask you, is there any cheese? How are you are going to answer this question? ¿Cómo me respondería eso? No. The answer, uh, no, there, there aren't. Uh-huh, okay, but, but, uh, but you need to be careful about, because uh, if you are talking about cheese, are you going to use is or are? Is. Is I ah, in cheese? Um, okay. 
Okay, what about if I ask you, are there any bananas? No, aren't any bananas. No? Aren't. But what about this word? No, there aren't. No, there mm -hmm. aren't. No, there aren't. Yeah, you can stop your answer right here. No, they aren't. Okay. Remember that we are going to use any to talk about plural, conable, and uncommon nouns, negative and interrogative form. Ojo con esto, please. Negative and interrogative. I got negative here and I got interrogative here. Okay, try, try, uh, try to create your own sentences and questions, please. Do it. And we have a questions. For example, in the first question, in the first answer, um, in the first question, <laughs> uh, for example, is there is 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 como cómo, cómo dice y cómo se pronuncia ISN? There. There. No, la ISNT. Ah, uh, there isn't. There isn't. Uh, only, only answer. Uh, in order to answer, if somebody asks, mm -hmm. is there any cheese? Is there, uh, yes. No, is there, there isn't. No, there isn't. No, not, there, there isn't. There isn't. Okay. You can uh, live in that way. Okay, thank you. Okay, but try to keep in mind that when you are going to talk about any negative and interrogative form. Okay, let me move. What about son? We use son to talk about plural, countable nouns, and uncountable nouns. That means that I'm going to use it for both sustain. Affirmative, offering, and request. Oh, okay, hold on, hold on there. Let me go back. I'm going to use it, affirmatives, offering, and requests. How can you use uh, using son in affirmative? Somebody wants to give me an example. Alguien me da un ejemplo de cómo usar son con afirmativos cuando ofrezco algo o cuando solicito algo. Hey, tell me, tell me, tell me. Don't ever uh, do you do you like some bananas? Uh, do you like some bananas? Okay, open open. Or do you like some orange? Do you like some orange? Okay, open. Okay, what about request? Edwin. Okay. Um, Edwin tiene su mano arriba. Okay, someone else. The answer, yes, I like. Ah, if, if somebody uh, offer you something. No. Yes, do, do you like some bananas? Okay, there the answer is going to be yes, I do or no, I don't. Ah, ah, yes, I do. Yes, I do or no, I don't, okay? Okay. Of course, you can give me. Oh, okay, you can give. Okay, somebody else, I saw another hands up, but right now it's down. Hello, I'm Mr. Wedding. What about request? Using some. Mm 
שלום. Teacher, podría ser I, I want some rent car. I want some rent a car. But if you are using some, you are not going to, uh, you are not going to use a. Ah. Porque no puede usar dos cuantificadores. What about our requests? Um, I have idea. Okay, tell me. I need someone someone money. Okay, can can you can you borrow me some money? I need, and I, I I lost my wallet and and I need to buy my food, for example. Yeah. In the uh, for example, in the question, do you someone money? Do you? Some money. But something is missed there. Ahí le falta algo a la cuestión. Mm. Do you have? No. Yeah, colloquial, in a colloquial way, you can say, do you have some money? But it's better if you say, do you borrow me some money? Do you? Follow me, me presta. Follow me. Yeah. Follow me some money. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Well, let me see what else we have here. Okay. And now we are going to talk about the different, uh, about how many and how much. How much to... We are going to talk about plural uh, cannibal nouns and how much we are going to talk about uncannibal nouns. When we talk about how many, I can count. When I say how much, I can, I can count. Okay, give me some example. If I ask you, for example, uh, let, me, let me see somebody here. What about you, Cecilia? Could you tell me uh, how many brothers and sisters do you have? Mm, una pregunta quiere que le diga. Hello? Una pregunta. No, my question is, how many brothers and sisters do you have? Repeat again, please. How many brothers do you have? Uh, I... I... have three, three, three brothers. Estaría bien esa respuesta. Okay, you have three brothers, okay. Okay, uh, Mr. Edwin. How many? I, uh, okay, okay. Hold, on, hold on, listen. How, how many trees do you, do you have in your backyard? How many? How many trees do you have in your backyard? Mm. Repeat, please, teacher. How okay. many? I, I don't understand. Uh, yes. How many trees? do you have in your backyard? Uh, zero, <laughs> zero trees. Ah, okay. No, no, no trees. 
¿Y cómo sería para, si usamos cuantificadores para dar una respuesta negativa? I don't, I don't have, no. I don't have, pero falta el cuantificador ahí. I don't have. Uh, Lo acabamos de ver. Any. I don't have any, okay. Because I it's, don't have any trees. Yeah, because it's negative. Uh -huh. Okay, nice. Okay, let me see somebody else. I'm going to look for the, the ones that are famous, please. Ah, los que están con cámara apagada están así como dormidos. No, Blanca, are you there? Yeah. Yes, yes, teacher. Is there, is there, is there, is there. Okay, Blanca, tell me, uh, do you remember how much do you pay for your cell phone? Repeat, por Do you remember how much did you pay for your cell phone? Do you remember, recuerda usted, how much did you pay cuánto pagó for your cell phone? Um, $200? Okay, okay, I pay $200. And right now, if somebody asks you, how much, how much is it? How much is it if you are selling it? Si alguien le preguntase, how much is it now? Uh, I... Okay, tranquila. Lo que uh... es el uso del how much, how much. <laughs> Si hoy alguien le, le pregunta, uh, ¿y ahora cuánto, 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 cuánto vale, cuánto vale, cuánto cuesta? How, how much? Yeah, how, how much? How much for it? Is? Okay, give me an uh, example. Use it. How, how many and how much? Uh, I don't know what is happening here. I'm going to stop sharing this. No sé si es que se me están durmiendo. O están con cámaras apagadas. I got you. Uh -huh. Lo descubrí. Lo descubrí. Okay, let me see a little bit. Okay, I'm going to share with you something. 
Okay, let me do it first. Do it first. Teacher, I have a question. Okay, tell me. Uh, si yo quiero decir, um, eh, hablar sobre café, ahí sería how much coffee. Mm, el ejemplo de la oración que, que he hecho. How much coffee do, do you drink every day? Mm, I, got you, I got your question. Uh, remember that, uh, yeah, you can use it that way because this is uncannable now. But if you are going to be more specific, you are going to use uh, some quantifiers. Si voy a usar quantificadores, I'm going to say, how many cup of coffee do you drink in a day? Entonces sería en how many en, esa, en, en ese sí, caso. Sí, estoy usando cuantificadores. Ok. Y, y la otra oración que yo había hecho es, how many books are in your school? How many? Books. Ah, oh, okay. How many books do you have in the library? Okay. okay pero esto, en, con, con la otra sí es, estoy en el, en el error. Voy a corregirlo. Okay, okay. It's quite easy, quite easy. If you are going to talk about money, for example, or if I ask you how much, how much did you pay for your shoes, for example. Okay. ¿Por qué? Porque la palabra money es incontable, you know. Pero to take it, yes. take it easy. I'm going to give you some tip right there. Okay, let me solve this first. Okay, let us play this game. Okay, I got, uh, choose a number please, somebody, from one to five. Choose a number. Three, teacher. Three. Number three? Four. Ah. Okay, I'm going to click on three. Okay, tell me, how much? I'm going to use it with letter A or letter B. How many? Um, Which? Letter A. Let it, we can move now. Okay, why? Okay, choose another number. Four. Number one. I didn't, I didn't gush the message. Somebody say four, I guess. Okay, how many water? In the fridge. This is uh, similar to the question that the lady asked me. Which one is the right one? A or B? How many water? B picture. B. 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 In the fridge. Okay. Why is B? Because I. Because it's uncountable. Uncountable. Uncannable. Uncannable. Okay, hold on a second. No, el, el tiempo, el tiempo. Okay, let us play again. Okay, let us start again. Okay. Okay, now let us choose another number. Tell me. One. Okay, number one. How much meal in the classes? A or B? Letter A. Letter A. 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 Ok, esta pregunta es referente a lo que me hizo la compañera when, we, when uh, she asked me about coffee. It is the same. Ok, next number. Five. Number five. Ok, how many shares in the room? A o B? A. Eight. Letter A. Okay, nice. okay, next. Two, three, four. Four. Number four. Okay, 
Okay, how many water in the fridge? A or B? B. B. Okay. Two or three? Two. Two. Okay, how many? Letter eight. Okay, and the last one, number three. How much? Cannibal one and cannibal nouns. Letter B. Letter B. Letter B, okay. Okay, great job. Okay, I'm going to share with you something now that you are going to resolve along. Ahora sí van a resolver unos solos. Pueden estarse viendo unos con otros. Okay, let me start with this one. Okay, I'm going to share with you this. On the Zoom chat. Now, hold that second line to put to everybody. Okay, you got it there. Double click on it and then you are going to answer. Double click in the link, please, in the last one. And start working, please. Lista teacher. Okay, go ahead. I finished teacher. Okay. Finish teacher. Okay, hold on a second. Let us wait for the rest. I finished teacher.
finish, teacher. Sorry, teacher, I don't hear you. Okay, we are going to start with this exercise. Uh, we need to classify all these names. Just tell me where I'm going to put it. In the group of how many or in the group of how much? I'm going to start for the left side. Uh, coffee. Do you consider that I need to put it where? Where, where do you consider? How much? How much? How much? How much? Okay, I'm going to do this. I'm going to put it here. Okay, what about T? How much? How much? How much? What about meals? How much? How much? How much? Really? How much? How many? Are you sure? What is how many? How many? How many? Next. Glasses. How many? How many? How many? How many? A student? Okay, students. How many? How many? What about homework? How much? How much? What about a bar of chocolate? How many? How many? How many? How many? What about money? How much? How much? How much? What about apples? How many? How many? How many? 
What about time? How much? How much? What about milk? How much? How much? How much? What about cheese? How much? How much? How much? What about rice? How much? How much? What about a cup of coffee? How many? How many? How many? How many? How many? Yes. How much? How much? Are you sure? Okay, I'm going to put it here. You say how much? Chocolate. How much? Ah, we are going to have a problem here. Water. How much? I don't have a spaces to put it there. <laughs> ah, okay, check it, check it, check and it. Hunger is how many? Are you sure? Hunger. No. no. Chocolate. How much? Chocolate. How yes. many? Yes. Which one? Which one? Chocolate teacher. How many? Money. Ah, oh, no, no. Ya están dudando. No, I need that you be sure about. How the money test? Okay, take a look of all the names that I got here. And one of these has to be in this side. Okay, I'm going to move, uh, I'm going to leave the weather there. What about uh, glasses? How many glasses? How many? What about computers? How many computers? How many? What about days? How many days? How many? Ah, oh, okay. And what about water? How, How much? How much? But where I can put it? I don't have empty spaces here. I need change. To... Okay, which one? Test. Which one? Which one? Mm. Test. This one? Yes. Test uh, how many? Okay, take a look, take a look. Check it out, check it out. As soon as you tell okay. me that all of them are right, I'm going to submit the answer. Is that correct? Okay, I'm going to submit the answer. Let us find out. Okay, bring it. Woo, bravo. Okay, 20 of 20. Okay, nice. Nice. Okay, I'm going to stop. Let me see the time that we have now. Okay, I've got 10 minutes. Let me continue with my presentation. There I have it. My presentation. Okay, I'm going to continue with an example related with this. Okay, how many oranges do we need to make a juice? How many oranges do we need to make a juice? I can count the oranges, but not the juice. An example could be how many cookies do you want? How many cookies do you want? Why I, I am using 
how many because I can count. I can count the groups. Okay, how many tomatoes are there in the kitchen? It's a question. How many tomatoes are there in the kitchen? An example could be how much water do you drink every day? How much water do you drink every day? Okay, ask the question. Read the question, please. I want to hear you. Repeat the question. I can hear you. I can hear you. How much water do you drink every day? Uh, okay, how much water do you drink every day? How much water do you drink every day? Give me an answer. Give me an answer about the question. In my oh, case, okay, teacher. teacher. Okay. Um, um, twice uh, a day, for example. Mm, but, but the question is how much water do you drink every day? Oh. Mm. Okay, and uh, in my in my in okay, the one that is I, in, in my case. Okay, go ahead. Yes, teacher. In my case, eight or ten glasses of water. Okay. What about the rest? Me, teacher. Okay. One liter, teacher. Uh, I I drink two liters to water every day. Okay. What about the rest? I drink three liters every day. Okay. Let us see another one. How much, how much milk do, you, do, do we need to make a cake? How much milk do we need to make a cake? Give me an answer. <laughs> Give me an answer. I know we need uh, a cup to make a cake. A cup the, to milk to make a cake. A of milk, a, a liter of milk. How much milk do you need? How many cups? Mm. We need two liter. Too little to me. Oh, no. Take a little to, to make a cake. Okay, how much chocolate uh, sauce would you like? How much chocolate sauce would you like? Okay, how many, how much? Okay, this is the activity that you are going to do. How many or how much? And you are work, going to work in pairs and you are going to take a picture of something around you. 
then you are going to use how much or how many. But that's mean that you need to share the, 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 the picture. I don't know if you got my impression. Okay, let, let me try to be able to break out when none of that all of you can work. Wow, wow, wow. I got only 15 students. And I got 25, 10 Armenian. Okay, I'm going to give you a few minutes in order that you can tell me something. Oh, wow. Here we go.
Okay, Cecilia, I'm here. Teacher, que es sola. Yeah, and, uh, I, I, I was fixing some problem like that. Estaba resolviendo algunos problemas. No sé por qué eh, muchos no se conectaron. No aceptaron la invitación. Esa es una de las razones por las cuales eh, no me gusta que tengan la cámara apagada porque a veces solo dejan eh, el ordenador y, y no están ahí cuando se hace una actividad. Pero sí se le asignó a cada quien eh, un compañero. Lamentablemente no, 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 no se conoce. But I'm here, I, and I can help you. Uh, what you are going to do is just to look around you, and you are going to discover uh, different options, and you can use how much or, or how many. It's all depend on the kind of equipment that you are going to identify here around you. If I ask you, for example, uh, how many windows? do you have in the area where you are? Uh, repeat again, please, lo último. Okay, we are waiting for the rest. Seguimos esperando a los demás. Algunos los sacó de la plataforma. Okay, I don't know who wants to share what you talk about with uh, your classmates. Alguien, alguno que quiera compartir sobre que hablaron using uh, how much or how many? Eh, teacher, le puedo dar un ejemplo. Nosotros ejemplos escribimos. Okay. How much coffee do you drink every day? Okay, next. How much how much sugar do you need to meet a uh, cookies? To make. Mate, okay, to make. What else? Uh, con how many, how many dove do you have? E, and how many cut of coffee do you drink every day? How many cup of coffee do you drink every day? Okay. Okay, thank you. Uh, somebody else wants to share? Alguien más piensa compartir. Teacher, nosotros también escribimos ejemplos. Ok, chao. Let us see. Uh, con how much, how much water are in your bedroom? And how much hair do you have in your head? And how many, how many pairs of shoes do you have? 
And how many TV are in your house? Are there in your house? Are there, okay. Okay, thank you. Somebody else, somebody else, please. En, en, nos, en nosotros, en nuestro caso, escribimos la pregunta y, y una, una respuesta. Pero answering how much and how many questions exactly. For example, the first question is how much does the book cost? And the answer is $20. And two questions, how many people came to the party? And the answer is there were more than 200 people there. And three, three questions is how much pass a shoe I buy? And the answer is, I think we need three boxes. Somebody else wants to do it. Somebody else wants to do it. Bien más. Teacher, yo tengo tres. Okay, tell us. How much does an air conditioner? No sé si se pronuncia así aire acondicionado. AC, AC, air conditioner. Air conditioner. Air conditioner. Air conditioner. Air, air conditioner. Air conditioner. Ah, okay. There. Y how many chairs do you have? Y how many computers are there, there. Are there in, in, in your office? Yes, yes. Okay, thank you. And the last one, please. El último de la noche. Okay, teacher. Okay. How much homework must I do? How much farther to walk? And how many animals are there in Africa? Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay, don't forget that I sent you in the chat the clarification of uh, the question at the moment that we were talking about the use of a uh, and an. Some were related with uh, vocal sound or uh, consonant sound. I put it there. Okay, let me check out your hands now. Please hold on a second. Let me see, America. Hello, America, are you there? No, Ana Iris. Blanca Esperanza. Present. Is there Blanca is there? Okay. Um, Cecilia Maribel. Present. Edwin Alexis. Edwin Alfredo. Present teacher, see you tomorrow. Okay, good night, sir. Francisco. Present, good night, teacher. Thank you, bye-bye. Gabriela. Present teacher, uh, I have a question. Okay, tell me. Uh, para el enlace del, del video, lo va a volver a mandar al mensaje. Oh, how can I do that? Well, I can, I can try to get it. Lo que voy a hacer es que 
de ahora en adelante, eh, justamente cuando suba el vídeo, de una vez voy a copiar el vídeo del de, de enlace y se lo voy a enviar. Estaría ah. bien compartirlo al grupo de WhatsApp. Ok. Ok, teacher. Thank you. It's going to be there. Uh, and I suppose that you got uh, a link in order to get to the, the YouTube channel of the company, but uh, I'm going to share it with you. Don't worry about it. Okay, uh, let me see. Giselle. Okay, I am here. Okay, thank you. Take care. Okay, bye. Good night. Um, Ingrid. Now here. Ivania. Now here. Uh, Jonathan. Present teacher, present. Okay, thank you. Eh, Jose Ernesto. Present teacher, good night, partners and teacher. Okay, thank you. Good night. Jose Luis. Yeah, probably in the airport or field. Karina Vanessa. Here. Catherine Marcela. Present teacher. Say hello. Hey, Paola. Present teacher, good night. Okay, night. Uh, Candy, Natalie. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Mauricio, Antonio. I'm here, okay. Uh, let me see somebody else. Roxana Alvarez. Say hello. Roxana Landa Verde. I don't see you. Sara. Present. Janet. Present, teacher. Good night. Okay, okay good night. Uh, Yesenia Lisset. And Jessica Beatriz Ramirez Maravilla. ¿Alguien no mencioné? Okay, according to my list, the number three is Blanca Esperanza. Le corresponden los diez minutos para hacer sus preguntas. I hope to see you at the end. Thank you very much for the rest. Good night and bye bye. See you tomorrow. Have a good night. Yes, Good night. Good night. Teacher, escucho que dije el presente, ¿verdad? Yes. Gracias. Ok, Blanca. Hola, teacher. Buenas noches. Good night, good night, good night. Good, good evening. Good evening, good evening. Okay, tell me. I don't know if you have any questions so far from here. No sé si tiene alguna pregunta. Vale, would you talk about your very happy study? Por ahora, quizás, teacher, nada más. Me quedó un poco la duda de cómo contestar al hot much o hot many. Okay. Por... Okay. Why? Veamos. Este... Ajá, digamos. Veamos, eh, cree, cree una pregunta, veamos, para ver la respuesta. Por ejemplo, una que la que ya tenía ahorita aquí. How many computers are there? Ah, para dar la respuesta, yo digo, there are. Ahí voy a usar, there are. There are 20. Sí, porque el there are se usa para hay. Ajá, hay, ok. Para singular es there is y para este otro sería there are. There, 
are. Mm -hmm. Ok. Y en, en el otro caso de how many, oh, how much does um, air conditioner? Digamos que estoy preguntando cuánto vale un aire acondicionado. Ah, uh, ok. How, how much an, an AC cost? ¿Cómo, perdón? How much an AC cost? El AC es... Siempre, la, con, de la, siempre esta, con, de la contesto con... De, de air conditioning. AC. Ah, y siempre contesto con el how much. No, no. For example, if you ask to somebody how much is the air conditioner, what you are going to do is just to give the number. Si, si preguntas cuánto cuesta un aire acondicionado, maybe somebody is going to tell you uh, $500. Mm -hmm. Ya digo el, el precio en sí. Yeah. Okay. Sí. Esa fue nada más la duda que me quedó. Okay, thank you. I hope to see you tomorrow. Good night. Take care. I see you tomorrow. Good night, teacher. Thank you. Bye.